Hey TFAX fans, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving deep into the captivating world of 90 Day Fiancé Season 7, which aired from late 2019 to early 2020. This season introduced us to eight couples, some of whom have remained cornerstones of the franchise, while others have faded into the background or perhaps should have. Among the featured couples were Angela Deem and Michael Ilasanmi, Natalie Mordovcheva and Mike Youngquist, Blake Abellard and Jasmine Latinen, Robert Springs and Annie Francisco, Tanya Maduro and Sinjin Colchester, Michael Jessen and Juliana Custodio, Anna Campisi and Mersel Mistanoglu, and Emily Lorena and Sasha Laren. Notably, Natalie and Mike were the only pair that didn't tie the knot, thanks largely to the delays in Natalie's K-1 visa approval. Angela and Michael faced a significant hurdle when their K-1 visa was denied, prompting Angela to travel to Nigeria to marry Michael instead. In a unique twist, Mersel left the U.S. after a disagreement with Anna, but made a dramatic return just in time to say I do. The season also highlighted other compelling dynamics, like the 19-year age gap between Michael and Juliana, and Robert navigating parenthood as a father of five children from previous relationships. With reality TV reaching new heights of popularity, it's fascinating to see how these couples have evolved since season seven. Angela and Michael, who have appeared consistently in various franchise spin-offs, proved to be fan favorites, filled with drama and tension. Their recent journey saw Michael getting his spousal visa approved in late 2023, culminating in a storyline that followed their relocation to the United States during the current season of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After. However, things took a turn when Michael reportedly left Angela in February 2024. Speculation arose about both of them potentially featuring in the upcoming 90 Day, The Single Life. There's no denying that Angela and Michael's relationship has kept viewers on the edge of their seats since 2018, and their paths appear to remain intertwined with the franchise's future. Meanwhile, other couples from Season 7 have experienced varied fates. Robert and Annie continue to entertain fans on 90 Day Fiancé Pillow Talk, but they also navigate the complexities of parenthood and loss. Their story might even find new meaning if they were to return to a primary show, like Happily Ever After. On the flip side, Blake and Jasmine's storyline has been criticized for its lack of depth, and many viewers would agree that their relationship hasn't offered substantial content since Season 7. Furthermore, the former couple, Michael and Juliana's turbulent relationship, ended in divorce after a short marriage, with accusations flying and drama high though none of this messy fallout made it to the screen, marking a missed opportunity for gripping television. As we reflect on 90 Day Fiancé Season 7, it's clear that while some couples have sustained their relevance, others have slipped away from the spotlight amid new, fresh faces across the franchise's ever-expanding roster. It's a testament to the dynamic nature of reality television and its stars. So, what do you think? Which couple from Season 7 remains your favorite? And what are your predictions for Angela, Michael, and the rest of the crew moving forward? Make sure to drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to TFAX for more updates and information on your favorite reality shows.